Hi, I'm Liz. We're back with our good old circular tank or reservoir again, and this time we're going to work out the circumference, and then we're going to work out the surface area of the outside of the tank. Why would you need those, I hear you ask? Well, if you've got a Big Mama clarifier and you're trying to work out what's the distance right around it, that's your circumference. Why would you need to know that? I don't know. <laughs> hey, it's going to come in useful when we come to work out the surface area of our tank. Now this could be because you're applying some sort of waterproofing paint or emulsion and you're trying to figure out how much you need. Maybe you're trying to work out um, how much concrete you're going to need to build one. Anyway, let's have a crack at doing that. The circumference equals 2 pi r. So remember, pi was a unitless mathematical term, we're just using a simple version 3.14, and r is our radius. That's the length from dead set centre of a circle out to the outside edge in a straight line. So straight away you see this circumference is like the length right round the tank. And you'll notice r is in there only once this time, so we're going to end up with a number in metres. And that's a good way of checking if you're using the right formula. Don't get yourself confused between the one for surface area, which will give you a square metre answer. This one, you've only got a single component of your calculation with units, and those units are metres, you're going to end up with a length in metres. So let's have a go at doing it. 2 times pi 3.14 times the radius, 3 metres. So 2 threes are 6 times 3.14. That's going to give us an answer of 18.84 metres as our circumference. 